ratio is 14 eggs for uh, one kilo of flour. Okay? Kilo. That's what. 2.2 pounds. 2.2 pounds. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys, if you guys, uh, it is a German recipe, and if you guys uh, were to start adopting the metric system, especially you bakers, it would make your life a whole lot easier. Yes. Okay. What is this Okay. So this is what we're going to do, right? We do this one with our, we make this dough with our hands. Can you stir that for me? Okay. I want to get you guys cooking. In here? Yes. Should have been six. six. So I think I need one more egg. Seven eggs for one pound of flour. It's not enough. There you go. Already got it. Already got it. Got it. Might need one more. One more. This one is more. Definitely, I don't know if that. I don't know how that was measured out, but it's not. It's not in there. Bring me quite a few eggs. Hey, uh, we will quite a few eggs. You brought two. So we want to develop some kind of gluten in here too, but this is not like the pasta dough. Now I'm going to put a little water in it. It'll be all right. Okay? But this one is more like a batter. It's still a dough because we're going to make pasta with it, but it's more like a batter, and we want it to be kind of loose. You notice how this, you know, this far pasta would not work out very well. And it's supposed to be happening like this, right? What we're trying to do is we're trying to stretch it out a little bit, get nice long strands of gluten. So then when we go to make noodles out of it, so you see the difference now between when I started, right? Yeah. You can see the gluten in it. This honestly needs to be a little bit thinner. Okay. So it's an egg dough, it's an egg and flour dough, it's just like pasta. The only difference is we're not going to roll it out like pasta, we're going to roll it off with cutting board. So, you say you add some water. I may add some water to it. That's not going to mess it up. Mess it up? No. So what we're looking for is liquid, right? Yeah, but we're using egg and flour. Yes, we're using eggs. Water, eggs, any kind of liquid. The difference between the egg and the water is that there's a little protein in there, there's a little fat in there, there's a little vitamins, there's a, uh, it gives it richness. Right, you see this yellow color? So how much water would you use? Eyeball. This one's one that you want So I don't know if you can tell, but you can see how stringy it gets. That's when we know it's done. I'm gonna get you. How much time we got on that rice pizza? Two minutes. Okay, now here's what we do. All right, there's a couple of things that I brought in here. One is a wooden cutting board so that we can make our, our spencil or whatever you call it. Um, 
You can also use, you can also take your batter, right, and you can scrape it over a perforated pan with your bowl scraper. You guys know the bowl scraper, right? The little white plastic yes. thing? You can scrape it over there and it makes a little button type. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Mm. okay. And then also, that spetzel maker I showed you. You put it underneath there, I think. Um, that's another way to do it. brought up to a boil, they have to boil. So what we're going to try to do is cut off little strings. Okay. You saw that first one go down there? So what we're trying to do is we want to spread it real nice. And see that's why we want it to be a little bit loose. Right? And then when we scrape it off, you just scrape off into the into the boiling water as little loose. That's why we need a little bit of water. Hopefully that'll come into a boil real quick. We want to do it into boiling water, and then as soon as we make one batch, we take it out, right, set it to the side, and slot it to the Is it a salted boiling water? Yes, it should be. You don't want it to touch, right? As far as, as, far as it's a touch water. You chill it. It doesn't matter so much. have these little noodle looking things that come out of there. If you want to use a bigger cutting board, you can. I just use a smaller one just for okay, so brought a few of them in. You gotta use a wooden cutting board though. If you if you don't have a cutting board, a wooden cutting board, you can use uh, the back of a sheet pan. And they cook a lot faster in the boiling water. And the looser it is, the more fine you'll get your little uh, Um, I would thin this. This is too oh, thick. Okay. It should be a little bit thinner. Okay, I'm gonna add some more water to it, and then we'll see how they come out a little bit smaller. And so then, what you have is like these nice little long, uh, these nice little long noodles looking things, right? When you make it out of there, you make little button type ones. Okay, and then uh, you know, usually what you do is like maybe make some bellotte, like some nice gravy to put pour over them. Right, it tastes really good. It makes a really nice dish. I'm gonna thin this out while you guys are working. Some more. I'll make a big batch of them so you guys can see. 